Now at 5.30, we're learning more about the lives lost when a car slammed into a duplex and caught on fire. As 7 Sheldon Fox reports, three people were killed in this deadly drive, including an up-and-coming local rapper. Fiery. Destructive. Deadly. It sums up Wednesday morning in this part of Miami. It was a big hit. The big hit was delivered by this BMW that zoomed off of Northeast 82nd Street and into this duplex before the car caught fire. <laughs> Two inside the burning vehicle were trapped and found dead by fire rescue. A third was rushed to Jackson's Ryder Trauma Center, but later died. Miami police confirmed one of those victims was 23-year-old Ernesto Enrique Cadalero. Hey man, stay safe world. You already know what's going on. We gotta talk about this situation with old Trap Star. He was tragically killed in a car accident that took the lives of three people in Miami two days ago. We're gonna get right into the incident and everything that happened. But before we do, I'm gonna need y'all like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna run this up. We back, man. They tried to disable my account, man. They tried, they tried, they tried, man. Somebody reported me, got my shit terminated, but then I hit up my YouTube plug. You know I got that shit sorted out, so it's not even a thing. So let's get into what happened, man. It's a super tragic story. South Florida rapper. At one time, he was like kind of like the biggest thing coming out of South Florida. This was like 2016, 17, when he dropped his track. Um, what was it called? Chopper. Fuck a chopper, got a Smith and Wesson. You know that song, man. He'll ever, forever be known for that banger. People accuse him basically of copying comethazine and stuff, but that's besides the point. So let's kind of get into what happened. So basically, it's kind of a tragic story, but the lives of like three like young 20 year olds were basically taken from us in Miami in a super tragic accident, which in my point of view, I feel like was totally avoidable. But basically, at around 5 a.m., a car, a BMW 3 Series, basically was going at a really, really, really high rate of speed through the uh, northeast part of Miami. If you're not familiar with Miami, basically like Northeast 82nd Street, which is what they were on, is off of the intersection of Biscayne. And Biscayne is like a long street that goes all the way throughout Miami. And they were just, I guess, going, I don't know what they were doing at five in the morning, but they went really fast at this one street. So the person driving was another guy who was like a valet at like a hotel basically. Trap Star was in the car with another female. And then the car somehow went out of control, careened off the road, flipped over multiple times, crashed into a house, broke through the wall, hit two people in the house. And then the car burst into flames and everyone passed away. One person was able to be taken out of the car and then they ended up succumbing to their injuries. It's like a terrible way to go for real. It's not cool to drive like that, man. Especially in those streets on 83rd Street in that area, there's like a lot of speed bumps. I've actually been on those streets before because I'm from Miami a little bit for the past like seven years, but now I'm not there anymore. But basically on those streets, there's a lot of speed bumps because people in Miami like to drive crazy. And especially on Biscayne at that time, a lot of people be street racing, a lot of people be driving fast, driving crazy and stuff. And this type of situation happened. I'm really positive and thinking that the reason why he died was because the person driving was going at a very high rate of speed. And then there was probably a speed bump or some type of thing in the road where the car just kind of went out of control and then it flipped over. But it would make sense that it was a speed bump because that could make a car going at a high rate of speed flip over if you try to dodge it. And I think that's what happened, man. And it's, it's super sad. Like, I really don't think that anyone should really be driving at that type of speed, especially at that time. People were probably lit. Drugs and alcohol could have been involved. Who really knows? But at the end of the day, you know, a young artist sort of died and their legacy, I think, will be remembered and forever be ingrained in this, like, South Florida rap world. At the time, like, of his death, he wasn't as popular as when he first came up, but it's like, it's kind of hard to maintain that popularity, especially in South Florida, because it's like the only like person that's really maintaining their popularity now is North X, and he's gone. Like everyone kind of comes and goes, but you know, it's definitely a sad story. Things that happen that could have been avoidable, like not driving recklessly or not going super fast. At the end of the day, we don't really know what happened, but 
you know, you had to have been going fast to get involved, engulfed into flames and stuff. And no one really wants to die a terrible death like that. But, you know, this just kind of goes to show that you got to appreciate people. Like, I see a lot of people pouring love and stuff, which is good. But it's like, you know, you got to remember to appreciate people while they're still here, not just when they're gone. Because at the end of the day, that just shows you that life is so precious and shit like that. So, you know, you got to pray for his family, pray for his fans and shit like that. Like, it's a super sad situation and let's hope that we all learn from it to be more careful not take risks not be out super late getting fucked up and driving not like driving recklessly and stuff like that it's a pretty terrible incident man this is like something that really reached the news and it's because of the fact of how crazy and gruesome and how like insane it is that like you even reach that speed and it's such a it's not like this is like a highway or nothing like that this is like a straight off street and like reaching that speed is kind of crazy but man let me know what y'all think in the comments man you think he was a legend or you think that he was a legend in the making and was about to get in that situation and he was on the come up man go listen to his music and stream his shit you already know what to do like comment subscribe peace